Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks sent by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys send to me. Like always, one submission will get a battle pass. And if you want to have a chance to win one, feel free to submit your tricks in the Discord server. About the Discord server, it's almost Halloween. And we had an Halloween event in the server. I want to thank everyone who participated. We got a lot of nice art. And the winner was Octane V2. Congrats, my friend. Now let's stop the talking and start the video. Let's start this video on Ascent with the simple but very effective Viper Ultimate. Simply stand against this wall aim under heaven and cast your ulti. As you see, your ulti will cover the side and it will get a small part of heaven. The reason why this one is good is because you could stand on this box and then you can see the feet of the enemy. A nice one way and you could stand here the whole time because the bar doesn't go down from here. So if you ever stand in heaven, never trust the fiber wall like this. Now a very handy tip about the harbor ultimate. As we know, your ulti will move forward when you cast it. But did you know that you can control the speed of your ultimate? When you cast it while walking forward, it will go faster than when you cast it while walking backwards, for example. Just look at the lines one goes faster than the other one and the difference is pretty significant when you walk forward while casting your ultimate it doesn't only go faster but it also goes further so keep this in mind when using it did you know that you could wallbang through the satellite i don't know why but i never knew this was possible you could ping and hope for a kill or combine it with the fission ability like a fade octopus and while we're standing over here we probably all know that there's a gap in the roof on the defender spawn pretty nice for lineups but when you are playing jet you could also look all the way to b entrance a good one for sneaky peeky kills about sneaky peeky kills Look at this clip from Tomato. Hold on. Whoa, nice trick. But the big question, does it work? Is it possible to hide in a Yoru clone? Well, from Yoru's perspective, when you look opposite to the clone, it doesn't really work. But when you face the same way as the Yoru clone and look a little bit down, then you suddenly disappear a little bit. I would definitely not recommend to use this trick a lot, but maybe in some games, you can try it for fun. A trick that you can use more often is this nice sage wall. Just not like that, more like this. To be honest, this wall is very hard to do, so practice it, my friends. A wall that's less hard to do, but might be even more effective is this one. When you place a sage wall, often the enemies will just knife against the wall. But here's a way to counter it. When you are about to place your ability, just leave a small little gap. For the enemies, it looks pretty natural, so they just gonna knife it. But when they do, you can go for an easy headshot through the gap. And the good thing about this trick is that you can do it on any map. Well played. You fought well. Now a tip for all the harbor players out there because I'm getting a lot of one-way smokes with harbor lineups. But in my opinion, harbor and one-way smokes don't really work together. The reason why one-way smokes are good is because when you see the legs of the enemies, you can shoot on the head. But with harbor, of course, you can't do that because your smoke will block your bullets. So you need to control your recoil and aim at that small part over there. Probably not kill the enemies immediately and they have time to react. So be careful with one-way smokes and harbor. Fun fact, did you know that you could create a one-way anywhere you go with omen? Simply use your smoke just above the ground and then pee. It's a very good trick, my friends. I mean, look at Raven. Ooh, well played. And while we're talking about one ways, let's do one more. This one is for Cypher. Go to this corner, aim at the dark bricks, and aim up till you match with the top of the roof. When you throw your cage, it will land on this small spot and you will create a little one way. Just be careful, don't stand over here. Stand as far away as possible, because otherwise the enemies will be able to see you. During this tips and tricks sent by you series, I got a feeling that I'm giving more tricks than tips. So here's a tip for once. When you are playing Omen and you're about to cast your smoke, you can ping on the spot where your smoke is standing. It's a pretty handy feature to communicate with your teammates so that they know exactly where you're gonna place your smokes. A thing you have to be careful of with Omen is that you cannot crouch while doing your shrouded steps. Also not your ultimate sadly. While on the other hand you have Cypher and he is able to crouch while in his camera. Perfect to go sneaky peeky like. Now let's do a Cypher fact. Did you know that you could activate your cage while in your camera? I don't know why but I didn't know that. I guess I don't play Cypher a lot. But you can do some cool tricks with this mechanic. On A side on Haven place your cage in this corner and when the barriers are going down use your cam in A short and place a trap. Why is this setup good? Well, you can just chill in the corner, wait till the enemies push, activate your cage, and they most likely not gonna expect you there. And then it's time for a sneaky peeky tag and kill the enemies. A lot of people were sending this trick in, but I actually saw it in a video from Acrid the Dog. So credits to him. Also, well played, Tomush. Trial. Yes. One enemy. As most of you guys know, I don't really like complicated lineups. I personally always forget them. So here's a simple one. With Sofa, simply shoot on the wall over there. It will give just enough info if the enemies are standing A long or not. This extra play on Fracture is so simple but so effective. When you plant a spike in this corner over here, go back to A long. Place a star at the top left corner of the platform. And that's it actually. When you use your smoke, you create a perfect little one way. You could even combine it with your stun or your black hole. Now a trick for all the chamber players out there. On Ascent, where you got an operator with chamber, a lot 
lot of people are placing the trap somewhere like this then slowly peek and when they see someone teleport away this is not the way to do it because sometimes you walk a little too far the enemies see you and you get stuck behind the box i've been in this situation a lot my friends but there's an easy fix simply place the first half of your teleporter over here and the second one on the same spot and now you can escape from wherever you are standing while we are on ascent here's an easy race double jump Remaining. Ooh, very good. Let's do another trick on Ascent. This time for Yoru. Stand against the boat, aim at the corner of the tile and place your clone down. The good thing about this clone is that when you activate it, it will stand still. This might fake enemies out. When they are peeking, they see Yoru standing still, so they might shoot it. And when they do that, you just fling from another side and easy peasy kills. Did you ever notice that when you are playing Viper on B, you could either wall off B and hold A side or B and hold C side, including Garage. So a big tip, when you are playing Viper, stand on B and as soon as your teammates calling that they spot someone then cast your wall towards that side now let's talk about the cool sage mechanic on most spots on the rafters on icebox your sage slow will look something like this it will not cover a lot but if you hit your slow just right then it will extend to the whole rafters and even a little bit outside rafters an insane trick and there's a lineup for this stand against the third line of this wall and then match the arrow of your ability thing with the top of this pipe it's very easy to do i actually got this trick from how to noodle and he got it from flat core so credits to those guys and while we're on icebox with sage did i ever show this wall over here i'm really sorry 35 episodes already sometimes i don't really remember if i showed the trick or not also if you watch a lot of these episodes feel free to subscribe the goal is to get more subscribers than funny and cute kitten cat but anyway it's a nice wall so use it to kill enemies from an off angle just keep in mind you probably will get a little bit of fall damage when you jump down it's time for another chamber trick when you are pushing c from garbage place your teleporter behind this box over here and your trap in the corner after that plant where you normally would plant and go to c long you're just in range for another teleporter so place it down hold the spike from here and when the enemy spots you or you get smoked off of course teleport and kill them from a different angle want to see this one in action look at the clip from Chris 7 they're standing Easy peasy, one versus four, my friend. Very good job. Now a lineup for fate. Stand in between these boxes over here. Aim in between the iron things and do a jumping octopus throw. It will land exactly on the pillar and spots if enemies are on B long or not. Just remember to do things with the info. If it doesn't spot anyone, take the orb, for example. If the enemies are pushing C on Haven a lot, you could use this wall to counter it. Go to these boxes, jump, and use your ability. From here, you could easily look all the way to the orb. However, this wall is very situational. One you could use more often is this one on Pearl. If you place your ability over here you have a sneaky spot to kill the enemies and when they want to push b they have to destroy two wall segments especially good in eco rounds because destroying walls in eco rounds sucks and while we're here let's talk about an overpowered viper setup at the start of the round stand in this corner and cast your wall so it goes through elbow after that stand on these boxes and match the arrow of your right click with the right corner of the roof this lineup might sound a bit difficult but it's actually pretty simple to remember your molly will land exactly on these boxes over here so after you did this setup go back to your team to be long and then you can see simply plant the spike on the best spot possible. This setup is especially good for the post plant because in the post plant you have a nice little one way. And this is it my friends, I want to thank everyone for submitting their tricks. I hope you learned something and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.